Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to download your files from Etsy. So in Etsy, you wanna make sure you're in a browser and not in the app to download your files. You're gonna to wanna to go up to your profile and click purchases and reviews. And then you're gonna to wanna to find the product that you wanna download. So for this, um, today's tutorial, we are gonna be downloading a landscape and portrait notebook. Okay, so for this particular download, you're gonna get, you have four PDFs, one for each notebook, and this will take you direct, this is a direct PDF, this, this is the notebook. But then you're gonna see up here, it says colorful, sticker download links. So this is a PDF that has links to the rest of the, the files because um, the reason why if you download one of my planners, um, or anything that is just too big for Etsy to handle, I put it on a PDF and then it has a link that takes you to Dropbox. And I have other videos that cover how to do the Dropbox, but for today's purposes, we're gonna just download. So first we're gonna download um, a gold coil notebook. So you tap the download button and up pops your planner. Also, if, it, if you don't see it here, it'll probably live up here with the little download button but um, I'm gonna clear that. Okay, so we have the planner, so we're gonna click the little action button. Now, when you click the action button, it's gonna bring up a menu and you have a choice to save it or um, download it to whatever app you're using. So um, this is my daughter's account and she has GoodNotes and Notability. So for today's purposes, we're gonna open in GoodNotes. You could also save it to files, but you don't have to save it if you don't want to. I mean, if you're, uh, limited on space. All of the files will always stay in Etsy as long as you have an Etsy account. So um, I save everything to my, um, I save everything just because it's nice, you know, you want to make sure you have what you purchase. But if you don't have space, at least you know that Etsy will always store it for you. So we're going to open it in GoodNotes. You're going to tap the open in GoodNotes button. And now it's gonna ask you, import to GoodNotes. Do you wanna import, into your import it <laughs> to your current document? You do not wanna do that. You wanna import it as a new document. And then we're gonna to import to documents. And now it's gonna open up and there you go. Your notebook is now in GoodNotes. Now, the other thing that you'll find, and we're gonna go back here, um, if you want, for the links. Now here it's it says this, but on my planners again, it'll say links PDF. So this is what it looks like when you download that. So it looks like this. You don't have to do anything, oops, you don't have to do anything when you see this other than read. Each one is a little bit different. So we're gonna download the notebook. So we're gonna tap this button. And now that is gonna take you to Dropbox. And from there, you can download it to your um, tablet, okay? And I have, actually, let's just go through it right now. So we're gonna tap the download button. It's gonna ask you if you wanna sign up or sign in. You don't have to, you just wanna download it. So we're gonna tap download. It says your file is downloading. It is probably it is downloading up here. It says in the meantime, you can sign up. You don't have to do that. You can just close the screen. Let's close it. And there is your notebook right up in this little download up here where it's the little arrow that points down. You're gonna tap on it. It's gonna come up. From here, you're gonna choose the action button. And then you're gonna have a bunch of choices where you wanna open it. If it's GoodNotes, Notability, Note Shelf, or what other whatever other note-taking device you have. And again, I have other videos on GoodNotes, NoteShelf, and Notability, and Android as well for you um, that kind of digs a little bit deeper into this. So I hope you enjoy this video. Have a great day. Bye.